Okay. Um. What quest do we do at first here? I see. So, um, for what I was going to do with this game, the Hogwarts Legacy, I was going to do campaign missions for videos, obviously, and then side quests like this one, I'll do as separate videos, and that'll be like a separate playlist, kind of like what I did with Division, campaign missions, all in one playlist, and then side quests will all be in another playlist. And then I'll have another playlist with the campaign and the side quests for a full playthrough if you guys want to see it like that. And then there's other side quests later on that you need to do to complete the campaign quest. You'll see that a little bit later on. We have to do like assignments to unlock the campaign mission. So I think uh, I think I might do that. We'll see. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be a bit confusing to figure out what I'm gonna do with that game what are you doing what the hell was that lag it's still laggy oh my god this game's got some serious FPS like problems and I hate this mission it's really it's really dumb this is like the worst mission in the game so far I came across I hate it Seats here. Thank you. Oh, my water. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Oh yeah. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing <coughs> obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. Accio. Accio. Oh, Accio. <laughs> Jesus. I don't really remember how that to do That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking, we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! God, this is gonna lag. <laughs> hmm. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> hmm. 
This guy's weird, dude. So why don't we have our newest students start us off? This game is really hard for me. Like it, it's definitely not an easy one. Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best professor. Show us how it's done. So with this game, there's no achievement or anything from what I've seen to get all 50 for both games. But your goal is to release the ball right before you get to the green. Also, you're going to roll it off the edge. But doing that is very hard. Cause like, see, I do it and I released it, and it's really, really close. And I released it too late because, as you've seen, I roll, I let go of it right as I hit the green. So, like I said, you just gotta like. It's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a weird one. Excellent control there. See, like right there, release. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a interesting game. So you want to release it before you get to the green. Very good. Points to Ravenclaw. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes! See, that's another thing I hate about this game right here. Is that this chick always gets 50 50 and 50 sometimes across the board, all the time. Do not Pretty much forces the player uh, to lose. Oh, and there's three games, by the way. This is the second one. That's it. Let us see this. She might roll a fifty next time. Cause she has a really high oh shit! I like <laughs> my bad. Don't lose your compost. Here we go. Yeah, just like I thought. That is how it's done. <laughs> well done. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus <sighs> now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Misha. I love how beautiful this game is, man. It's so good. Dude, last time I did this game right here, her ball hit the thing go. and it rolled off the side. <laughs> it was great. Come on. Yeah, it's blue. Excellent. Dude, if there was an achievement for this game, to get all 50 across the board for all three games, with all three balls, I would be like, out of luck, dude. I would fucking, it wouldn't happen for me. It would definitely be a really hard achievement and really annoying. Her ball just got knocked off the edge. <laughs> you are not making this easy for me, are you? 
I'm so glad they didn't make this an achievement to get all three balls on 50 on all three of the games. Like, that would be a pain in my ass in achievement. Come on, come on, come on. Shit. No. No. I released it too early and I knew it. I guess we both got our balls off the end. Oh well. Very I won good, that one, I think. both of you. Well done. Cool. But yeah, this mission is this quest is definitely boring. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly. Dude, look what's on that board back there. I remember how the I felt when I first A big ass bicycle. I transferred here from Wagadu Old school just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the Wagadu. largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. You know, she said Uganda is where she came from, but like Americans call it Uganda, I think. Uganda, I think, is the actual real term. But for some reason, we call it Uganda sometimes, or Uganda. I think we call it both. I don't even know. I don't know. I always thought it was Uganda. <laughs> Jesus. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Um, that's incredible. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh <coughs> yes, I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. God, I really hope that didn't really mess up my audio recording. Because I looked over and it didn't even say pause, but it showed it was recording. And then I alt-tabbed out and the stop menu appeared, but it still said it was recording. So I really hope that didn't mess up my my audio. My bad. It's nice to learn about another wizard. It looks like school. it's still going. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Isn't there a thing in here? You can use Aki on humans. If you're so well, I thought there was a uh, thing in here. Using it on clothing a word, if you would. You, know you wanted to well, speak you... with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. I think this is the Expect quest. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment yeah. that I am preparing for you.
Yeah, I think these are the assignments I was telling you guys about that are like mandatory. You have to do these side uh, quests to unlock the actual main story. Hello. How was your first day coming along? <sighs> Hello, Samantha. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Of course. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. <clears throat> okay, so... Paper? Rebellion. Should be... Yeah, there it is. Oh! The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbye. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. But yeah, there's a lot of stuff in this castle you can't do until you get to a certain point in the game. So, you kind of just, in my opinion, from what I've experienced, you kind of want to do your campaign missions. Uh, for quite a while. Um, also, at the same time, because this is like a fast travel kind of like open world game, you kind of want to go and try to get all of your fast travel points. Like, as soon as you can, because sometimes you'll have quests randomly over the place, and if you have to walk all the way there, it's kind of a pain in the ass. And you might as well just fast travel. So just get all your stuff unlocked, all your fast travel points. Some of them you can't have access to because they're locked and you can only get access to them later in the game from specific missions. So, yeah. Just make sure you guys get all those unlocked. I need to, I need to get to this one. They're worth unlocking. Oh. I'm not even going to bother reading those. Isn't there... Yeah, this guy. Oh, this place is so laggy. I don't even know why either, like... <laughs> I think we might have to end it here because this is a campaign mission for another quest. And I don't want to like put two quests together. Because these are like class quests and I don't want to like put them both together in one video. Because I kind of want to name my campaign, I kind of want to name my videos off of the actual class quest. Because some of the quests do take like 10-15 minutes to do because they have like, you know, the dialogue all this other crap. So I don't really want to like, you know, add on to that with another quest. Revelio. Be a paper in here as well. Yeah. Rebellion. There's a lot of these. You want to collect as many of these as you can because you get the points as you see at the top of the screen. You get the little challenges completed, plus you get XP. I think. You might just get XP for the ones that the papers that come out of the sky. Yeah, so you do get XP for these. But you also complete your little challenges. And you want them done. And you can't unlock this 
thing until you get a spell, which you don't have until later. Yeah, this place will be the next quest.